Hey there, just a quick reminder, we have a mentorship program if you're looking for personalized coaching and mentorship to help guide you to the next level of your interior design business, whatever that might look like for you, whether it's processes and procedures or what services to offer to how to incorporate wellness, intention, or spirituality into your projects, come join us over at designcoven.com forward slash join. Or if you're just in search to connect with other like-minded interior designers, you can join our free community also located at designcoven.com forward slash joy. You're listening to the Holistic Interior Design Podcast. This is a podcast that guides you as a new or inspiring independent interior designer navigating your entrepreneurial path. Here with my over 20 years experience, I will share my holistic approach to design with intention and ancient practices, including feng shui, all incorporating mind, body, and spirit into my design projects. You will also learn from seasoned interior designers as they give strategies and insight of how they built their businesses and continue to work in the field. Together, we will discover supportive trade partners, new ideas, creatives, and inspiring artists from around the world. I am your host, Rachel Lorraine Crawford. Welcome back. We are at episode 150 of the Holistic Interior Design Podcast. I am currently recording uh, in Cabo San Lucas for a design conference uh, with Cosentino called CNEX, which I'm super excited about. I will be doing a recap episode sharing all of the insights and the experience that I had at the conference. We are talking all about heart center design this month. This is our theme, um, which we know as holistic interior designers is really close to our personal hearts. And we've been talking a lot about it at the conference, which I think is really beautiful that other designers are seeing this as a way of design. So before we start, I'm going to go ahead and open up our space. I actually don't have a candle with me, so we're going to light the inner candle, the inner flame that is within all of us, uh, setting the intention of connection, setting the intention of receiving wisdom, also giving wisdom, and then just expanding our heart space uh, and connection with all of you. So with that, our candle is lit and I'm going to pull a card. I have my Nomad Tarot deck with me today. And we're just going to see what what card comes through? What message do we need as we start this day? And this is the Ace of Water. The Ace of Water is the Ace of Cups. And it, the Ace of Cups is all about receiving blessings. It's an open chalice with water just overflowing. Um, so this is kind of just being in a space of receiving. The chalice is also connected to our sacral chakra, which is the space of creativity and um manifestation and creation and all of those gorgeous things. So Ace of Water, Ace of Cups for our message today, just being a space of receiving and being overfilled with love and emotion. The Cups is the card of emotions um, and relationships. So with that, I wanted to use this time in this episode to really share what's happening this month with our theme of heart center design that evokes emotion. This is just a month to reconnect with your heart space, reconnect with why you began to want to design. What, what was the, the passion there? What was the thing that, that got you to be an interior designer and reconnect with that. And also to lead your design this month from the heart, letting your heart really take the lead and connecting with your other, with your clients' heart centers as well and using design to express their emotions, the way that they're feeling and the way that they want to feel in their home. So a lot of this is gonna be about feelings and emotions for this month. Uh, We are gonna start our month with our new moon intention setting gathering. So this is where we gather to set our intentions with the new moon. We've got a beautiful new moon in Aquarius this month. Um, And Aquarius is connecting with humanity. It's larger, bigger picture. So we're going to be zoning in on setting intentions for connecting with our emotions and how those emotions and our designs can better the world around us. So that's happening on Friday, February the 9th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's on Zoom. So it's completely virtual. All of our official 
events with the Design Coven, our membership group is a virtual. So if you miss it, there's no worries. You will catch the replay. We've got a video replay for everybody to connect back with. If you're a pro member, you get the video replay and you get the podcast uh, replay. So there's a secret podcast that will connect you with our recordings. And so again, we are setting intentions at the new moon. The moon is new because it's just that little crescent that's coming back after being completely dark and it's growing again. So whenever that moon is in the crescent, that means there's opportunity, there's potential, there's things that can happen in this very magical space. Um, so setting those intentions with that moon is a really strong place to be. And then we've got our mixer the same night. So we've got art meets design. It's a mixer that is in person and that is free and completely open to everybody and anyone. So we are featuring six interior designers having vignettes at the event where they're going to be able to interact with other designers and artists. I created the event to connect designers with artists. So we've got a ton of designers that are coming. We've got a bunch of artists that are coming together. And then we've got people that just love both art and design and they're there just to support the community. So there's gonna be a fun interactive mixing event of meeting each other. We've got some amazing opportunity drawing prizes where interior designers are donating consultations. And then we've got artists that are donating pieces of art that you can potentially win, which is really cool. And then just to have that connection with those artists and, and all of them are sharing. Again, they're sharing from their heart. The designers are sharing from the heart. It's just going to be a beautiful, beautiful mixer. We've got 160 already registered for that. So you don't want to miss it. And our previous episode, 149, dives in a little bit more. So if you want to check that episode out, get more information on this mixer, feel free to do that. And then we've got a mystic circle happening on Monday, the 12th of February. So every second Monday of the month, we have mystic circle and mystic circle is all about strengthening your intuition, reconnecting with that intuition that you have within you to help guide you in your business and your personal life. So we are going to be connecting with our moon sign. So the moon is the satellite that is connected to our emotional space, our hearts. So we're going to discover what sign we were born. Our moon was in when we were born. So you're going to find out, you know, what does it mean to have a Leo moon? What does it mean to have a Capricorn moon? Um, and the other thing that we're going to look at is the phase of the moon that you were born under. So not only was the moon in a particular sign, but it was also in a different moon phase. So of course we know there's a new moon, a full moon, were you born under a waning moon or a crescent moon, a waxing moon, a gibbous moon. There's so many different avenues and phases that all kind of intersect. So we're gonna dive into that and take a look at what's happening there. I'm also gonna be sharing moon journaling and just keeping track of the moon phase so that you can see how your personal uh, emotions are affected by each one of those moon phases and what sign they were under. So it's gonna be really fascinating. I'm super excited for Mystic Circle and that is available only to our pro members. So our pro members get the new moon intention setting with everyone else, but they also get Mystic circle, which is that connection with our intuition, which is so important as designers to be in touch with. And then at the end of the month, come on the 28th, we have our group coaching and workshop episode. So I'm bringing on a website copywriter who focuses only on interior designers. Her name is Misha Cohen, and she is going to take us in a workshop talking all about the emotionally infused branding techniques that we can do to connect with our audience. So she's going to talk about the significance of infusing emotion into your brand, which is huge, how to create a powerful connection with your audience through the emotional space. And then we're learning practical strategies and techniques to build an emotional connection through your website copy. And then we've got Q and a right after that and group coaching. So group coaching is going to be open to everyone to kind of just ask your questions about, you know, what you're struggling with, whether or not it's the emotional space with your brand, or, you know, it's a difficult client, or there's something happening with a floor plan. So there's all this open group coaching that is available to you through our pro member tier at the Design Coven. And of course, all of that is virtual. 
it's recorded, it's available through video, and it will be available to you on the secret podcast, uh, the secret design Kevin podcast. So I just wanted to kind of give you an insight of what's happening this month. I encourage you to use this month to connect back with your heart, your emotional space and design from there as well. And also just invite your clients to share, you know, the feelings that they're wanting to invoke in their spaces. So really letting that lead you in design. And with that, I hope to see all of you on Friday for our new moon gathering virtually. Everyone is welcome. You just have to be part of the design coven, which we offer as a free membership as well as the pro membership. So with that, happy designing. Can't wait to see you there. You've been listening to the Holistic Interior Design Podcast. If it's one that you have been enjoying, please share with anyone else that you think can benefit from this knowledge and leave us a five-star review that helps us get seen and found by other new and aspiring interior designers. And if you're looking for mentorship, I invite you to join our club here at the Design Coven. It's a bridge between school and real life interior design. We get in much deeper there. We have virtual and in-person events. So everyone is welcome. You don't need to have a design degree to be part of it. Just an interest in holistic interior design. I also want to thank our editor, Marcy Ferry, and lastly, Kinseth Thibodeau, who is our music composer. Until next time, be well, and we will see each other soon.